Hello, I'm Auntie Tina, and today I will be guiding our Sunday School session. Let me welcome you all to this, our online version of Sunday School. Today is recognized as a good day. It is Good Friday. I now invite us all into a time of worship as together we celebrate the greatest gift of love on this Good Friday. Let us say together in whose name we worship. Please read what is on the screen. As we read, make the sign of the cross. Together, we worship in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. One God, now and forever. Amen. Please join me in singing the first verse and chorus of a well-known children's hymn. The words are displayed on the screen. It's the song, Jesus Loves Me, This I Know. We will sing verse 1 and the chorus. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Let us pray. I will lead and you will respond as indicated. Blessed be the Lord our God, by whose grace and love we are alive. Blessed be his Son, Jesus Christ, by whose death, burial, and resurrection we become children of God. Blessed be the Spirit of God, in whom is our hope and our joy. Now, let us say what we believe in the words of the Apostles' Creed. The words are on the screen. Together, I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Next, we will have the ministry of the Word. Today's reading is from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 3, reading verses 14 to 17. Our reader today will be Bailey Anderson. Please follow the reading on the screen. A reading from the Word of God, written in the book of St. John, chapter 3, beginning at verse 14. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. The word of the Lord. Our response is, thanks be to God. Today is Good Friday. It is a good day. 
It is a day when we focus on the fact that Jesus died and was buried. In the Jamaican tradition, we have some things that we observe. One, no lighting of stoves at three o'clock. Bun and cheese for breakfast, bun and cheese for lunch, and when the cheese is finished, dry bun. Or, after three o'clock, we eat fish. Fish and bread, fish and bun, and sauce of fish. In the Christian tradition, we are accustomed to three hour services at church when we focus on the stations of the cross or the seven words from the cross by Jesus. We focus on the event of the crucifixion and the reaction of different people during the crucifixion and burial. Who are some of these people? Think about them. Do you know them? We have the thief on the cross. We have the soldiers. We have Mary, the mother of Jesus. We have Peter and John. We have Joseph of Arimathea. And above all, Jesus himself among others. After this program, you could have your parents or an older relative go through with you to list all the characters in the crucifixion and burial story. In our churches today, we also focus on God's love and Jesus's obedience and the nature of people and human beings. So, what happened that first Good Friday? What is that story of love of Good Friday? It began in the creation when God made man and woman in his image and spirit with a plan that human beings and God would be in relationship and fellowship with each other and above all with God. The first man and woman, Adam and Eve, sinned. And this damages the relationship between God and humans. But because of his love, God tries to reunite mankind to himself by warning and sending messages through many, many prophets. That didn't work. At the same time, man tries to reunite and reconnect with God by sacrifice of burnt offerings. God wasn't satisfied. So God decides there needs to be a final sacrifice. What was that final sacrifice? God sent his only son to earth, his sinless son Jesus, to be born into the world. Jesus lives on earth. He performs miracles and teaches until it is a time for his greatest task, the ultimate act of love. Jesus enters Jerusalem on Palm Sunday, just last week we've celebrated that, to start the final leg of his journey of love to Calvary. In Jerusalem, Jesus is betrayed, arrested, crucified, and buried. Good Friday, is indeed a day of the greatest act of love. Because after the death comes the resurrection, and that resurrection means a whole new beginning. So how do you feel about Good Friday today? Is anyone feeling sad, angry, or confused? Or is anyone feeling happy, thankful, or encouraged? Journey with me as we explore the Good Friday experience. Who likes a cake? I'm sure everybody does. Maybe I should ask who doesn't like a cake. Well, think about the process of baking a cake. In baking a cake, whether from scratch or from the box, the batter or the mixture is poured into a pan after it is prepared. That pan has the batter in a liquidy form. The pan is carefully put into the oven to bake. In the oven, 
It is hot. It is enclosed. It is not a comfortable place. And that batter stays in the oven until it is prepared and properly cooked. That could be 15 minutes for batter for, for muffins, or it could even go as far as two and a half hours for the good old time Christmas pudding. At the end of the baking process though, the cake comes out of the oven, fully baked and ready to eat. The oven is a place and a period of time when the butter or the mixture is changed and transformed to a cake. Now let's think about that first Good Friday. What really happened that first Good Friday? On that first Good Friday, Jesus, the Son of God, who was living and doing miracles, was prepared in his crucifixion, his spirit is poured out, just like the butter was. After his spirit is poured out, he is placed in a tomb or grave, just like the butter was put in the oven. That tomb or grave was not a pleasant place. It was not a comfortable place. And he stayed in there for three days. At the end of the three days, he emerges as Jesus, the Savior of the world, resurrected from the tomb. In that process, a transformation that changed the relationship between God and human beings, between human beings and Jesus occurred, where Jesus was no longer just the Son of God, he now became the Savior of the world. But it doesn't end there. After the cake is baked and taken from the oven, what do we have to do to enjoy that cake? We need to get a knife and cut it, slice it, and then we eat. Until we partake of it and participate in it, we will never enjoy that cake. We enjoy and benefit from the cake by eating and interacting with it. How about eating and partaking of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus? Can we do that? Yes, we can. Think about the sacrament of baptism. In baptism, we are changed from being children of our parents, baptized, and then we become children of God. We have a new relationship with God. And God's Spirit lives in us as we become His children. Yum, yum, yum. Let's look at some readings. In John chapter 5, verse 13, it reads, Greater love has no man than this, than someone laid on his life for his friends. In John chapter 10, verse 10, it reads, I am come that they might have life, and they might have life more abundantly. In Romans 5, verse 8, it reads, But God shows his love for us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And finally, the well-known John 3, 16. Let's read it together. It reads, for God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16 is the story of Good Friday. Let's analyze it. Let's look at it closer. What do we get from it? God loved the world. He still loved and he still loves the human race. That's every person. You, me, your families, your friends, your neighbors, and also strangers. His love led him to give his all 
and his best, his son Jesus. Once we embrace and participate in Jesus' death and burial, we are transformed from being just sinful human beings to being children of God. As children of God, we have an eternal hope. We have a permanent relationship or bond with God where he is our spiritual father, our friend, our guide, our teacher, our healer, and our savior. So what is it about the glory of the cross on Good Friday? Think about it. What is glorious about Good Friday? The cross is a reminder of Jesus' death. Agree? It is also a symbol of the greatest act of love. It is a symbol of the power of God's love. And it is a symbol of our transformation to becoming children of God. That is why the cross is the sign of our faith. And we often make the sign of the cross in this way. We go up, down, to the left, then to the right. And there's a little rhyme that says, up, down, to the left, to the right. This is the sign under which we live and fight. This is the sign of our faith. Now for today, I want us to remember a special verse. We call this verse the memory verse. And the memory verse for today comes from the Gospel of St. John chapter 5 verse 13. Let's read it together. It reads, Greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. Let's read that again. Greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. I now invite you to sing with me and a verse of another well-known children's hymn, the same hymn we sang earlier. The words are displayed on the screen. Jesus loves me, he will stay close beside me all the way. Thou hast bled and died for me, I will henceforth live for thee. Yes, Jesus loves The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. For our intercessory prayer today, we will be guided by the prayers on the screen. Let us pray. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Help us to remember your love, Lord. Thank you for the grave, Lord. Help us to remember that our sinful nature will die as we rise in you. We thank you that today you are not dead, Lord. You are alive. We live in you as you live in us. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Sustain us with your Holy Spirit and your love. 
Let us continue in prayer using the words of the Collect for Good Friday. Almighty God, we pray you graciously to behold this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and given into the hands of sinners and to suffer death upon the cross. He who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray together the prayer of dedication. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our paths, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our memory verse for today is taken from St. John chapter 5, verse 13. Please read it aloud with me again. After two, one, two. Greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. Let's read that again. Greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his own life for his friends. Please study that and commit that to memory. Mom, dad, whoever is watching with the children, please give them a treat if at the end of today they are able to say that by heart. Our closing song is a well-known children's hymn, Praise Him, Praise Him. The Lord be with you. 
and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Children, continue to have a blessed Holy Week as you reflect on God's love. That love that caused his only son to die on a cross for you and for me. We invite you to join us again on Sunday as we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus here at Online Sunday School on Easter Day, Sunday, April 12th.